Hi guys, welcome back. To be honest, I don't have a valid excuse for being away for so long, but I just have been very lazy and I did not film for a while. So I'm back with a blue smoky eye tutorial and I hope you like it. I don't have the best skin right now, so please bear with me. Also, I forgot to prime my face before starting to color correct, so that's why I have the green concealer on my acne's already. Um, I'm gonna start off with using my YSL primer. This has gold flakes in it, which really brightens your skin and fills up your pores and also holds the foundation in place. So I'm gonna apply that to my skin, and then next I'm gonna take my foundation on a stippling brush and I am using my Clinique Acne Solutions Foundation and I'm just gonna stipple it on my skin. And I also realized that I did not put much foundation on my forehead. Way to go, Amrin, way to go. Next, I'm gonna take my concealer and apply it on those Prada bags and on my brow bone just to highlight <laughs> um i am using my maybelline fit me concealer in the color i have no idea i'm gonna put it on the description box i promise and i'm just gonna blend it out with my fingers and then for under my eyes i'm just gonna use the foundation brush that i was using earlier Then I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Pomade and I'm just going to start filling in my brows. Um, do let me know if you guys want to see a brow tutorial. Most of the time for everyday use, I usually just go for a pencil because it's just faster and easier. Um, but when I am doing more glam looks or if I am going out somewhere um, for a party or something, I do tend to go... Um, for my brow pomade. I also do use powders sometimes, but yeah, there are a lot of ways you can do your brows So yeah, just let me know if you do want to see a brow tutorial and I can do it for you Just leave me a comment below saying that you want to see it This weather has been really messing with my skin. Um, it's been so cold and my skin has been flaking um, And it's so dry and patchy and I hate it. I am usually a combination skin girl so I don't usually get like very dry, it's most of the time oily to, you know, normal, um, oily on my T-zone. But recently, my, ugh, man, my skin is so dry and it's flaking and it's disgusting. But yeah, even though like if I moisturize so much, it, it's still like that. So leave me suggestions of what I could do. Um, I tried using um, coconut oil because I know that is good for your skin um, even if you have oily skin so but then I feel like recently my skin has been going towards the more drier side and not so oily so I don't know if it's just changing or if it's the weather that's making a change so I'm just gonna take this peachy color and put it all over my lids I actually found this palette on eBay after watching a few eBay find hauls on YouTube um, and I've been loving it so far so I'm gonna list it down below if you guys do want to check it out it was very inexpensive and it gets the job done and it's really nice so check it out and then taking this other color that is a tad bit darker than the first one that we used I'm gonna start um, putting it on my crease and build it up and this is just going to allow your darker eyeshadow to blend in very smoothly in your crease because you don't want patchy crease, okay? So blend, blend, blend. I always say this to everyone. If they're doing something wrong, dude, blend it. So here I'm taking that dark brown shadow and I'm going to slowly build it up in my crease, but I'm going to concentrate the color on the outer corners. So 
So I'm going to use my Galaxy Chic palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to pick up this really nice um, blue color, it's called Neptune, and I'm going to put it all over my lids using a, mm, using a flat shadow brush. Wow, I cannot speak today. And I'm going to start packing it in and then I will also go back in the crease and blend it out with the Real Techniques brush that we were using before. Um, I'm not putting any additional product on the crease, I'm just taking whatever's left in the brush um, and blending it in. And then also you'll see me going back and forth with blending and applying the blue. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Next, I will take this ColourPop shadow, um, this is called Stereo, and I'm just going to use a angled brush, it's, it's a little like dense angle fluffy brush, um, and I'm just going to use it and apply this color on my outer corners. And I'm also going to put it on my lower lash line. The color wasn't coming out as intense or as dark as I wanted it to be. So I ended up going back to my BH palette and I picked up this really nice purple shadow. It's called Pluto, I believe. And I'm going to put it right on top of where I put the color pop shadow. And also go ahead and blend it out. Whoa, that hair flip though. Wait for it, wait for it. There we go, Miss Sassy Pants. I'm just gonna take the color Chic from my Anastasia Shadow Couture palette and I'm just gonna use it to highlight my inner corners. Using my liquid liner from NYC, I'm just going to join those wings and I'll be right back and then apply mascara. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and I'm going to really pack it on because I don't want to apply falsies today. So yeah. The mascara needs to get the job done. Making sure I coat my lashes really well, I am gonna apply it both on my top and bottom lashes. Going back to the face, I'm just going to lightly contour my face using my Kat Von D palette. And I'm just going to take the darkest shade and start contouring, um, putting it under my cheekbones, on my temples, and also under my jawline. Also I did contour my nose just a little bit and um, I'm just going to blend it out really well so there are no harsh lines.
and I'm just gonna apply some lipstick and that's the final look I hope you guys liked it please comment down below on what you would like to see next don't forget to like and subscribe give this video a big thumbs up it really helps me out you can also follow me on social media I'm Brin Zakaria and also share my video with your friends family and everyone you know Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever you're up to. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.